I'll do. Jeffrey Epstein, the list is coming out in January. Why now? You know, what's the distraction for? What else? What other sinister shit is happening in the world around that time? Because all the focus will be on that list, won't it? So, Bill Gates' wife. I would say to you guys, go out there, find the interview. Bill Gates' wife being interviewed. So she talks about her ex-husband. You know, he was buying all the farmland in America and elsewhere. He who wants us to eat meat grown in a lab and bugs and all manner of other shite. Yeah? He's concerned about the population of the world. That guy. He, he flew to Epstein Island. He's on the client list. Not going to get much bigger than him, are they? His wife said she met Jeffrey Epstein. Made his skin crawl. Turned his stomach. That's one of the reasons she left him. Bill Gates. It's a very compelling interview. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the woman, me. She came across as very sincere and genuine, unlike the ex-husband. So there's procedures, whether it's America or this country, they might be somewhat different. First point though, Jeffrey Epstein, highest profile prisoner when he went into prison, anywhere in America. Everyone knew who he was. Highest profile prisoner. There's a certain amount of sort of media type interest, interest within the system that comes with that. I've managed high profile prisoners. Nobody as high profile as him. But you know, that it's, it's busy around them. There's lots of interventions, interactions and things like that. One of the big things in this country, Wales, Ireland and Scotland will be similar, is making sure these high profile prisoners get to court. A lot of them, when they come into prison, are put on ACT documents, assessment, caring, custody, and teamwork. That is the suicide and self-harm document. A lot don't need it, but they're put on it. If someone is in crisis and come to the healthcare, works on healthcare in the private sector prison and public sector at strange ways, they may well be put on a constant watch. That is decided by a team of people that will include prison staff, security wise and medical staff. Depends who's on at the time. Constant watch is just that, someone 24 hours, not the same person, sat watching them. You can see everything they do, you can see them eat, see them go to the toilet. There is a little bit of privacy, you know, you would allow someone to use the toilet without being stood at the cell door. You know what I'm saying? It's about decency, isn't it? Now, depending why that guy was in there, we had anti-ligature cells. It used to be called safer cells. There's no safer cell. People are clever and ingenious and I saw lads in anti-ligature cells, which were much safer than a normal cell, find ligature points and try and take their own lives. Then you look at things. So if someone is really high risk, risk of taking their own life, shoelaces, belts, bedding. We used to have a suicide blanket, it used to call it. Heavy woven blanket. There's no way you're hanging yourself with it. You couldn't tie a knot in it. The only way you're going to kill yourself with a suicide blanket is if you try to eat it and you choke to death. You see what I'm saying? There's procedures. You don't mind where you are in the world. There's procedures and precautions. There's observations. Cameras. I'm sure there's plenty of cameras in American prisons. We've got cameras on wings. The cameras, we did have cells in the segregation unit with actual cameras in the cells. So you were being watched in the cell by a camera. That is to save somebody being sat outside looking in constantly. On the healthcare, we will place someone outside a cell. But observations, procedures, searching, all this. 
So Jeffrey Epstein's got all that. Then he comes off his suicide watch and kills himself because there's nothing. That doesn't happen. You know, there's a step down of observations, but he's still observing someone. In this country, intermittent watch. You come out of crisis, might be a day, might be two days. You'd be on an intermittent watch. Five times an hour, randomly checking on someone, writing down them observations. You reduce the risk. Again, if they were at risk of cutting, you'd reduce the risk as much. Reduce of hanging, reduce the risk. But the obs would come down. But you wouldn't shake their hand after they'd been on a constant watch and they'd be off back to normal location. Not a fucking chance. So this guy's come off suicide watch, yeah? And then everything falls into place. Now, I don't want to think things like this happen. I'm sure a lot of people don't. You know, guards falling asleep, cameras not working or turned off, but he's hung himself and he's gone, yeah? So we had a dark list uh, of clients who... Yeah, dark, dark things. The list is coming out. Hollywood. There will be Hollywood types on there and politicians. Hollywood will close ranks, won't they? Hollywood is dark anyway. There's people who spoke out against Hollywood. Quite a few actors in recent times. Mel Gibson being one. Yeah. Something weird. He said that for a long time. He's not participated in that Hollywood party incestual scene. But it's dark. They'll close ranks. Won't they? Hollywood will close ranks. The media won't go after anyone in Hollywood, will they? Mel Gibson, they might go after him, but they're not going after people on that list. Politicians, again. I wouldn't be worried about anyone on that list. I wouldn't, if I was any on that list, be worried about being prosecuted. You know, the list coming out, what are they going to do about it? How are they going to act on it? Oh... They need people to give evidence. Now that's where I would be worried and concerned for people. Young people who've been subjected to all manner of abuse and trauma. Yeah. They'd be the witnesses, wouldn't they? They'd be the ones who'd be stepping up, out in the politicians, out in the Hollywood stars. Firstly, that's very difficult. Who's going to do that? You've got to be in fear of their life. They'd need the best protection. Definitely. That's a scary thought. So do you think anyone's going to end up in court giving evidence against the people on that list? Very, very dark. Got a few days off. I'm working Christmas Day. Um, I will be out vlogging with Stephen. I will be putting a Christmas message out. I, you know, I'm eternally grateful for the community of followers I've got on YouTube. Um, I know a lot of you people struggle. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'd like to wish you all the best possible future. So thanks for your continued support for guests, past, present and future. For myself and Stephen, uh, Comments are always amazing and supportive. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you there.